In this video, we are talking about systems of linear equations that we will solve by graphing. A system of linear equations is just a collection of lines, such as, say we're looking at y equals 4x plus 2, which of course is a line with slope 4, y-intercept 0, 2, and y equals negative 5x plus 11, another line, this one happens to have a negative slope. These are lines. This is called a system of linear equations. We want to know where those two lines intersect. That's the solution we're looking for. A point, not a number. Our solution is a point, x comma y. So if we were to graph the lines, here's the first line, y equals 4x plus 2. Here in blue, here's the second line, y equals negative 5x plus 11. Right here, that point of intersection, we could see just from the graph, that's the point 1, 6. That's our solution. That's the single point that satisfies both of these equations, the one point that's on both lines. So the solution is that point 1, 6, satisfies both equations. We can check that by plugging the point in to each line. If we plug in to y equals 4x plus 2, plug in 6 for y, 1 for x, we get 6 equals 4 times 1 plus 2, where 6 equals 6, it does work. Similarly, if we plug in to the second equation, plug in 1 for x, 6 for y, we get 6 equals 6, negative 5 plus 11. So that point does satisfy both equations. Okay, so that's our method. When we're solving a system graphically, we graph both or in weird cases, if we had more than two lines, we graph all the lines. We look at the picture, see where the lines intersect. That point of intersection is the solution. Always keep in mind those solutions are points, x, y, not numbers. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's graph these two lines. Okay, and use whatever your favorite method of graphing the two lines is. So we put both lines on the same set of axes. We could use an xy chart, find the intercepts, whatever your favorite method is. Hey, look, we graph these two lines. We get, here's the line 2x plus 4y, or 2x plus 3y equals 4. Here's the line 4x plus 6y equals 1. Those lines are parallel. They don't intersect. There's no point of intersection. The lines are parallel. Remember, we're looking for the point of intersection. There is none, so there's no solution. This system of equations has no solution. We call this an inconsistent system. Okay, one more example. Say we want to solve this system of equations. Again, we'll do it by graphing. So we graph both lines. We graph x minus 2y is 4, 3x minus 6y is 12. And we get this. So this blue line that's hidden under here is the line 3x minus 6y equals 12. You can check that on your own. That's what it looks like. The line x minus 2y equals 4 lies right on top of that. Remember, we're trying to figure out where these two lines intersect, where they live in the same place. They live right on top of each other. They are the same line, in fact. So where do they intersect? They intersect at all points on that line. So the solution, where do the lines intersect? All the points on the line. We give this a name as well. We call this a dependent system. Okay, uh, feel free to watch any of these other videos that are related to this topic, and thank you for watching.